morning. My name is Sim Sonnet with North Haven Television, and today we are at the St. Baldrick's fundraiser event at the G Salon on Washington Avenue, North Haven. Um, it is, as you can see, a really exciting turnout today. Uh, they've raised so far about $11,000 in donations, all of which go to St. Baldrick's Charity, um, which is a children's cancer charity, um, and they raise uh, money for research and donations um, in that field. Uh, so far, they've had about, let's see, how many chairs we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think they're actually on their 12th person, um, that they're shaving heads and they're just bringing new people all the time. Everyone's in such an amazing mood, um, you know, they're shaving off their heads for this amazing charity and for this amazing cause and just having a good time while doing it. I got involved with St. Baldrick's about four years ago. Um, it just happened that this event uh, came around the anniversary of the death of, of one of uh, a cousin that I had who died when she was nine years old, 1964. And um, I think that that's when I had the courage to say, you know what, I don't need my hair. Um, and that's when I got involved with it. Uh, I raised about four thousand dollars the first year. I had very long hair and donated to lots of love and then shaved as well. And I've just been doing it ever since. It's very freeing. I'm battling my own cancer right now. So um, for me, the scariest thing was to hear that I had cancer. And I'm doing well now, but I cannot imagine a child going through that. So the money that gets raised helps to fight that cancer. Um, it would be wonderful if we could get rid of it completely and no one ever had to go through that again. So I every year try to get a team of women because I think it's very empowering for women to do this. Um, that everybody's all about appearance and whatever. And it's just such a simple thing. It's hair, it grows back, it's not that big a deal. And it would be a great, it's a great thing to do. It's just a great thing to do. Oh, is this uh, the first year that you're doing this? No, or? this is my sixth or seventh. So you've been from the beginning. So it's the first time they had it, I was oh. here. Oh, wow. Yep. And it's always been through uh, g Salon, or yep. did you do it other yep. places Nope, before? always g Salon. So what, what inspired you to get involved? I saw it in the paper, oh, I'm sorry. I saw it in the paper and I, I said, you know, I needed a haircut. It's a good cause. So I came and then I came like three, four years, and then the, there was a little boy here that had cancer. And uh, so I have a bunch of friends I hang around with. I've been telling them that story. And then they came with me, and he came back in and had a sign that's cancer free. So now they're hooked too. So there's like eight of us here. We come every year. And, are, you, uh, uh, are you part of a team? Yep. What's your team name? Team Roper. Team Roper. Yep. Last, last year we had the highest amount. I don't think we will this year. We had a bunch of people that got the flu and couldn't make it today, but that's okay. It's still it's a good cause, well worth it. It looks like it's an insanely popular event. Yeah. I think it was, there were over 20,000 they raised last year, I think. Yeah, we, we, uh, I, I was speaking with Kathleen earlier, and yep. she said um, over 60,000 in the last five years, Yeah, um, which, is, which is amazing. Awesome. So what would you just say, because believe it or not, there are actually like 30,000 people who watch uh, NHTV. Oh, no way. Um, yeah, it has cool. a pretty wide viewer base. What would you um, say to someone who's watching this who may not have known about St. Baldrick's, or, but may have someone who's been affected by cancer, or just you know wants to be involved in this, well, encourage this, them to do it? This year's the first year for me it became more personal because I have a son now with cancer. So I feel better that I've been doing it all these six years or whatever, but to anybody, it's any dollar amount, is, is awesome. It, it's no too little, too large. It's an awesome cause. They do a lot. They're the biggest fundraiser besides the federal government for cancer for kids. So it's a great cause. You know, I, I was talking to Susie, uh, Susie before, and she was saying, yep. um, you know, you can only imagine, and I'm sure the, the, the fear your son might have as yes. just being told, and to think also of a, a, a just a little kid. Yeah, I know. know. Someone who might be eight years old and right. has no real grasp of what life is just exactly yet, and is told something don't understand so, the ramifications right you know that you're, you're told that you have this yep. disease that you don't have control of right um that's like you said for me this is the first time i can't fix something that you know what i mean i can't fix it but thank god the doctors can yeah because of things like this and you know the more money you raise with the technology they exactly. have now we can beat it i i, I believe we will
All right, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and have a great day. I'm Kathleen. I'm one of the stylists here at G Salon, and I'm the VEO, so the volunteer event organizer of our St. Baldrick's head shaving event of the year. And how long have you been organizing this? This will be our sixth year doing it at the salon. What got you involved with St. Baldrick's in the first place? I just wanted to host some sort of event, so I was just researching local charities, local foundations. This is a, a national one, but I just figured the hair and the salon went hand in hand, and it's an amazing cause to raise money for pediatric cancer research, so it's a win-win. And you said six years, right? Yep, this is our sixth year this that's, year. That's yep. crazy. Yeah, so it really is. How much is. money have you raised? Um, not including this event, just the past five years, we've raised over $61,000. That's a lot. So it's amazing money. for a relatively small event, you know. There's other places that take over bars and restaurants, and ours is a relatively small local event, and I think we do pretty well. <laughs> and about how many shavies, as you call them, right? Shavies, yes, shavies. Do you get a year? About 20 to 25 a year. So a couple years we've had the police involved. The um, North Haven Police Department has formed a team. We have a team called the A-Team, and they raise over $1,000 every year each person. So they're usually about three or $4,000 just on their own. Um, and then we have a team that comes in. They're just a group of friends from a local town, and they come in with all sorts of crazy hair, and every year their team grows, the amount of money that they raise grows, and it's it's amazing to see them every year. It's a lot of fun. So you, you say team, so can you explain like what what like how how does the event work? Like the team So you can dynamic. register as an individual or a group of friends, or like the police formed a team. So you raise money as individuals, but all of that goes towards a total goal for each team. So it's just if a group of friends or an organization wants to participate together, they can register as a team together and come together. <laughs> you know, I actually had a friend who did it. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, she grew her hair out like so oh my gosh. long. And then just, just, how long do you have to usually have your hair in order to... Um, I mean... Does that matter? No, or? it really doesn't matter. Um, I'll consider it. Yeah. I don't, I don't look very good while I have to get away, It grows fast, you know, and it's just hair grows fast. I'm and I always say looking, that the children don't have choice, you know? The children <laughs> don't have a choice that they lose their hair. So it's standing in solidarity with them. Yeah. And um, actually, one of our shavies, Susan, she, the first year she did it, she had hair, like, probably down her back. And she came in and she donated the length to Locks of Love, and yeah. then she donated, and then the donation for the shaving for St. Baldrick's too. So she had like a, a double double whammy. Have you ever but considered doing it yourself? I have. The first year I got so wrapped up because the energy is so great and everyone is so excited. I was standing there. I was like, I should just shave it right now. And then I was like, <laughs> still thinking about it. Maybe one year. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck to the event. Thank today. you very much. Yeah, no right now, which is not a grand total with the raffle and other donations that come in, our total is $11,125. Wow. So what, what does it feel like as they're, they're shaving your head? It feels good. It's for a good cause and it's nice to get rid of it all, especially now with the warm weather coming. <laughs> That's right. You know, it'll be, it'll be like a little breezy. Yes. Uh, what do you prefer at the moment? Do you prefer no hair or do you prefer no hair? I prefer no hair. No hair? Yep. Perfect. And uh, you, had a, you had a little surprise for everyone earlier. Yes. Um, could you explain that and show it to the camera again? Yeah, sure. I, uh, I decided after last year's event, I said I got to do, because last year I dyed my hair pink and blue, crazy. But uh, so I decided to do something bigger and better, and I decided to get my head tattooed with their logo. So, and uh, 
I think it was pretty popular. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a look? Can we get a look again? Now that is dedication. Yes. Um, and th there's a challenge, you know, for everyone there. Know. You know, he'll get his Who's head tattooed. Beat me now? Exactly. <laughs> everyone at least should go and get their head shaved. You know, exactly. should take part in this because if you can get his head tattooed, we can right. at least just lose our hair. Right. You know, it grows back. Exactly. So, you, you, we were talking before, and you've done this for six years. Yes. So how, you know, what's it like when you come and you just, you're shaving a bunch of people's heads uh, for this cause? Is it fun? Oh my gosh. Um, um, on top of meaningful? Yes, definitely. I, you know, I try not to just make it straight shaving. You gotta have fun with it a little bit. We did a mohawk on this gentleman here, you know? You gotta make it fun. <laughs> and this is his fourth year, so every year we gotta switch it up. Make it more exciting. Do you, do you feel that you get like a lot of returners who come? Yes. This, the A team has done it, I think, all six years. I think Doug came by himself the first year, and then all of these, all of his friends got got hooked too. So they came back the next year. So I think it's Doug's fifth year and everybody else's fourth year. So it's been a lot of fun to see everybody come back year after year and see catch up. <laughs> and uh, how about you? What is it? What is it like as you, you get your head shaved? It's awesome. We look forward to it every year. What um what brought you to St. Baldrick's? Actually, Doug Roper got us going on it, and uh, it's been a great cause. So we we all look forward to it every year, and it turns into a, it's a great cause, and it's a big party afterwards too. So we have a good time. All right. So you know you you, you had mentioned before you know the liberating feeling that you got when the the razor first hit your head. Oh yeah. And you know I see you just have to get this relaxed, blissful look on your face, and actually the hairstyle you've got now you could actually rock. You, know. <laughs> you could you could make that work. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know, talk about what, what the feeling is at the moment. It's just the, it's just very liberating. That's all. I mean, you know, like I said, so many people are so all about their looks and their hair and their makeup and their clothes and their whatever. And there's so many more important things in life than that. So if this little bit of whatever I'm doing right now um, is going to help even one kid, even one child. I, I'm happy. I'm ha that's all I could say is I'm happy. It's, this is, it's a very easy thing to do. It's hair, it grows back as you get it snowed on with my hair. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's an uh, occupational hazard. So, uh, right. uh, no, no, you're fine. I, I took the risk of coming, in, coming down here, right? Um, so, and, and you had mentioned before, you know, I, I, I really, really love that. You said, you know, I, it might be like a really great thing. It's women's empowerment to come. It is. It's very. It's just that. very empowering. And I, and I, every year, once I do this, every year I go soliciting all of my women friends. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. And they say, well, maybe. And then it gets to this time, and it doesn't happen. Kind of, they kind of back out again. They back out, yeah. Well, but this year, you know, see it up close and personal. They need to do it. They, need they to do. do it, even just one. They do. So all my North Haven friends, come on out and do this. It's great. That's Thank right. you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. So all of the raffle prizes are donated. Uh, from different uh, places around here. Obviously, G Salon has one. Uh, there are shavers, men's and women's. There's restaurants like Leon's. Uh, there's uh, other there are pizza shops, uh, different things that were donated to Gail, who owns the shop here for uh, Moroccan oil, things like that. And uh, we've uh, been selling uh, raffle tickets since we got here. And they're a dollar a piece and 15 for $10. And uh, I know we've, I don't know the exact count yet, but I know we've sold over $300 so far. And all people have to do is fill out the back of these tickets with their name and phone number. And if they're here, here obviously they take their prize once the, the, all of this is over and we do the drawings. If they're not here, if they put their phone number on the back, they'll be called and uh, they'll get the prize at a later date. But it's uh, always been successful. We've been doing this uh, ever since the whole St. Baldrick's thing's been going on. I think St. Baldrick's speaks for itself. Um, I don't think you can say anything. It's, it's for a great cause. Uh, lots of great people, great day. Um, it's about love. So if, that's, if that doesn't say enough, I don't know what, what will. You know? <laughs> So as I had mentioned earlier, um, they're still counting up their raffle donations and um, the wristbands that they were selling as well, and all the proceeds are going to St. Baldrick's. But they have raised over one or me, eleven thousand uh, dollars this year. So that brings their total 
to over $70,000 in the six years that they've been doing this. Obviously, the St. Baldrick's Foundation is very appreciative, and the G Salon is an amazing salon to be doing this every year. Uh, and I know that everyone here, I, I think I can speak for them, would really encourage you to get involved and get your head shaved. And uh, both Rob and I are considering doing it as well, um, you know, to be a part of it and make a team for North Haven Television and, and get involved there as well. Um, it has been an amazing turnout. There were so many people that got their head shaved. There were over 20 people today um, that got that done. Some amazing raffle prizes, some great people, um, lots of food, lots of love, and just lots of fun. Uh, and as uh, one of the uh, Shavies had mentioned earlier that this is about love. And it was very clear today that at G Salon, love was very much in the air um, for this very special event. So, my name is Sim Sonnet. I thank you very much for watching, and I'm signing off for NHTV.